We keep our focus on the Caribbean and the havoc Irma unleashed on the U.S. Virgin Islands. Jordan Holman of Bloomberg just returned after spending 36 hours in the U.S. territories, where some complain they are being forgotten. We begin with what she witnessed. So I went to the Virgin Islands uh, where they were hit by a Category 5 Hurricane Irma last week. So I went to St. Thomas and St. John, which uh, really got the brunt of uh, the hurricane. I saw a lot of devastation. You know, it's a tourist attraction, usually plush, green, beautiful island. Um, it was pretty much barren from the strong winds, a lot of utility poles down, a lot of crushed cars, houses without roofs. So what are the circumstances people are living in now? Do they have, uh, do most people have a place to live? So um, on the islands, uh, electricity uh, is really down. There's not running water in a lot of homes. Uh, like I said, roofs are off of homes, so people are living in complete darkness. Uh, there's no AC. It's a very hot island. Um, and so people are just trying to find a way out or to figure out how to hunker down and work through the situation. So they've decided to stay, most of the people you talk to? Some of the people I talked to, some were waiting in line um, to get on a boat to go to Puerto Rico uh, to get a flight to the mainland. And, Jordan, we've been reading about uh, some folks who live down there being uh, angry, upset that they, they haven't been getting more help, more support, because these are, after all, the U.S. Virgin Islands. Uh, what, what were they telling you about that? Yeah, so when I was in St. Thomas, uh, which is a very touristy attraction, I talked to some residents up there who were on a hill. Uh, they felt like they hadn't gotten enough aid. Uh, they would have to walk down the hill to get water or medical assistance, and they just didn't feel like uh, the attention was put on them like we had coverage for Florida and Texas. Uh, and so some people wanted, you know, to get more federal aid. You know, President Trump has said that he's planning on coming down within the week, but some people wanted a quick response. What did you see in the way of, of, of help when you were there? Who was providing the help? So the Coast Guard was there, the U.S. Marines, they were helping out. But a lot of it uh, was volunteers, people who were on St. Croix, another island of the Virgin Islands, who got over in their boats, uh, two-hour ferry, just to give water assistance, sometimes hugs, just to tell people, like, hey, we are all in this together, and um, we can try to help you get off this island if need be. And we know that these islands depend on tourism uh, for their economy. What What is the, the state of their their hotels, the, the tourism uh, system there? Pretty much everything is closed. Uh, one woman I spoke to, she works in a restaurant in a hotel on the side. Both places are closed. So this means that people aren't getting incomes uh, on top of already losing their homes. They're not getting the paycheck that they so badly need to maybe evacuate, you know, to Puerto Rico or the mainland. So it's just everyone's in a rough spot, uh, especially since their economy's built on tourism. Jordan, one other thing. We've also read uh, some accounts of some crime taking place, people taking advantage of the situation. Did you see or hear about that at all? I think the biggest concern people had was with safety. Because their houses don't have roofs or there's no lock on their door and there's no electricity at night, people are just in the pitch darkness and they're with their children who, uh, who just, you know, want to be safe. School's out. So everyone was really just trying to help out each other. And uh, there is a curfew for people to stay inside during those dark hours. So I think everyone's just focusing on their personal safety right now. But it sounds like this is going to take some time uh, to, uh, yes. to, to work on. Yes, FEMA said this is not a months-long or a weeks-long recovery. It's going to be a years-long recovery. Well, well we, uh, we know uh, that we're all thinking about them. And thank you for sharing uh, what you saw with us. Jordan Holman with Bloomberg, thank you. Thank you.